Welcome back, my friends. Welcome back. Scotty the Trucker coming to you from home. Merry Christmas. It's a couple days late. I'm sorry. Um, but as usual, when I get home, all my plans kind of go out the window and I forget about all my responsibilities. Although I'm heading back out ready for dispatch tomorrow. So today is going to be uh, getting a lot of stuff done. I'm actually heading to get my uh, DOT physical this morning. Um, so which kind of reminds me that I'm about a year into this, and that's what this is about. This is the long-awaited first episode of my new playlist, which is designed to help uh, a good segment of my uh, my viewership is uh, my beloved <laughs> fence sitters. You know, and I've I've always said I say that lovingly. Um, uh, it's a good thing to be as a fence sitter in this. It's a huge decision. You don't want to jump in rashly. You want to weigh all sides and all that. And I try my best to give you both sides of that. And uh, that's what this is going to be. I'm I'm now not a year into trucking itself, and certainly not a year into solo. Um, but I'm beyond a year from the point where I decided to go trucking. I, I decided concretely uh, last not this past November, but the November before that. My last day of work was January 14th of, of uh, 2022. Yes, yes, okay, sorry, I had to think about that for a second. Um, and my first day at uh, Springfield was February 21st. I had some delays in there and that kind of thing, but uh, that's how I went. So um, I, I've got a year of hindsight to be able to share with you guys, and that's what this uh, playlist is gonna be about. Um, uh, you may remember, and I'll put it here, this guy from episode two or three, I think three, um, where I talked about my decision to come trucking and what went into that. I talked about the, um, you know, I, to me it was three, th three big areas of life that had just gone in the ditch and uh, none of them by themselves would have had me do something this drastic. But when all three of them kind of were heading off the rails, it was time to do something and that's what my channel is about you know my choice was trucking and I've said this many times you know trucking is not for everybody but if I can be an inspiration to anybody I just hope it you know that my story might inspire someone to take action in some way you know maybe it's not trucking maybe it's something else but for me it was a you know it was a realization that clawing my way week to week was never gonna get me and my family out of the mess we were in so so anyway, uh, I would suggest, like I said, this is just kind of the setup for the, the playlist I'm going to do. Um, and it'll be, I don't know how many episodes, but I'm going to piece apart that episode, the, that, the big decision episode. I, I would say that if you haven't watched that, go back and watch that. That's this guy from a year ago, uh, kind of explaining the situation I was in then. And uh, the subsequent videos here are going to be, you know, a walkthrough. I'm going to dice that up into segments, kind of uh, take each part and give you the benefit of where I was then and where I am now um, and let you know whether I was right wrong and ultimately whether this was a, a good decision for my family you know so uh, I hope that's a help to you and just as a little bonus to it, it is Christmas time and I thought I'd share what I got for Christmas with you guys so some cool cool stuff first and foremost and I'll pull it out here y'all will remember that I lost lost my CDL not not through court, I mean I lost the card. <laughs> lost my CDL, I lost a uh, pilot card, and uh, what was the other one? Oh, and my, my ID for, for Prime, all in one swoop. I guess I had them in my pocket and laid them on a counter somewhere and didn't pick them up, I don't know. But I was given, it's a neck, little wallet thingy, you know, <laughs> little pockets. This is gonna be perfect, this is what I was looking for. Um, I've been much more careful since then, but this is what I needed. This is, I want to just have the necessity, the cards that I need, and it's going to be around my neck. I won't be laying them down. I'll use them, put them back. So that's terrific. I love that. All right. Uh, <laughs> you'll like this one. You getting tired of seeing me in that uh, dingy tan hat and the uh, black, my winter one? Well, I got a new one. I kind of like it. I think it looks pretty pretty sharp. Now, it's a teeny bit, teeny bit tight, and I'm hoping it'll stretch out a little bit, but what do you think? Cool, cool new flat hat, something, something new, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully it won't be, it'll loosen up. I think it's loosening up already. I've been wearing it. Uh, next thing was I got an Anne Rice book. It's the final in the Vampire series. I think I mentioned in a, maybe the last episode, I think, or the, or the one before that, um, that I'm a huge Anne Rice fan. I've read 
the vampire series, the witch series, over and over again. And I'm working through the vampire series again. I'm on, I think I'm about to finish book four. Uh, just kind of rediscovered reading back on the road. It's been a while since I've, I've done any reading. So I'm going back through all of them so that I can get the one book read that I haven't read before. It's this last one um, before she died. This was the last book I believe that she wrote. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying reading again. And this is the, the final installment and I haven't read this one. So I'm going to go through all the, I think it's 13 or 14 books. And then I'll, I'll have this one ready. So that was cool. Uh, my Ann Rice. Now this was cool. My sister got me. Hopefully I'm a little close to the camera. This is an electric backpack style pressure washer. So I've told you I have this old, old house and uh, it's got sidewalks going around the side and it's got this red brick wall, little, you know, half wall that goes around my front yard and it is disgusting looking. It's black and I can't wait to fire that up sometime. It might be the next time I come home. It's a little cold here still, so <laughs> don't want to be going out in, uh, with the pressure washer and uh, freeze, below freezing uh, weather here, so that might have to wait. And it sucks because I really want to do it. So that's it. I think that was all. Oh, oh I got, my wife got me. I don't know if you can see this. this is, I'm going to try this out. Hopefully it works. You know, my cup, cup holders in the truck are great, but if you have kind of a skinny Pepsi bottle or water bottle, they rattle and, and flip around. This thing goes in the cup and it's kind of a squeeze mechanism and you put it in there and it holds them straight. So it looks like it might hold them up a little higher too. So, cause I know one thing that happens is, you know, you got your seatbelt. I've got one of those little flip things that you can loosen the seatbelt a little bit and it loosens, you know, and you clamp it down. But every time I reach for a drink, that pops loose and I have to do it over again. So maybe, if it's a little bit higher up, I won't have to mess with that. So I think that's about it. Like I said, this was just the opening preface to the uh, the playlist I'm planning to do. Um, again, just to, to, to recap, you know, I'm, I'm not the person that's going to be telling you constantly, come to Prime, come to Prime, use my referral code. You know, tracking is for everybody. You know, it, it's great, it's great. It is a good company. It is a good choice if it's for you, you know. Um, and I'm going to go through why I think overall it's been a good choice for me. It has not been an easy ride, you know, by any stretch. And I'm going to talk about that as well. So you've really got to measure this, this leap if this is what you're going to do. If you do make the leap to trucking or prime, I'm always here to help if I can. You can contact me through comments here or through my Discord channel, which I always put the link in the uh, description here. And I'll answer anything I can, keeping in mind I am new. I have a YouTube channel, but that doesn't make me more experienced than anybody else, uh, less so in most cases. So I'm only, like I said, a year in, not even from training. So, you know, I've, I've, I've banked my fifth month solo. I'm right under 50,000 miles solo on the truck. So, you know, I've got some experience and I'll share whatever I can with you. But keep that in mind, you know, if you're looking for technical answers to questions. I might not be the guy for you. You might want to hit up Jim C or somebody who's been doing this a while. Um, so uh, yeah, I guess I'll leave it there. Uh, the next episode of what I plan to do is kind of reintroduce me from a year ago. I'm going to test out my acting skills and kind of channel me from a year ago and kind of take you through a little more detail of, of that episode that I talked about, what it was really like to be me at the time I made the decision and uh, walk you through that. Um, and then from there, you know, the, the three prongs, which were basically work, stress, uh, finances, health. Um, um, and then the third was just kind of a feeling like I'm not doing much with my life, you know. Uh, certainly rewarding. I'm a family man and I will never diminish that. But, you know, when you're 50 years old and you're looking back, you know, you want to be able to say you did something. You took a risk. You did something adventurous with your life you know, you only get one of them. So hopefully that, uh, you know, something like this, you know, can satisfy that little itch as well. So uh, that was a part of it. It wasn't the biggest part, but it was part of it. You know, I, I didn't want to look back at my life and think, you know, uh, my family was fed. I sat behind a desk for 50 years. I did my responsible this and that, you know, but that's all I did. You know, um, I don't think I'm being irresponsible with trucking, but you know, it's responsibility, but with 
little added adventure to it. So, you know, the, it's been, that I can say right now has been wonderful. You know, just the view from that window. I, there's places in this country that I did not know existed on the planet. They are so beautiful. And it's been a blessing to, to see those through through the front windshield. Someday I hope to do a little more Ubering and slow down and, and uh, you know, enjoy it a little bit more. But for now, uh, that's good enough for me right now. So anyway, I uh, hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. And like I said, I'll see you hopefully. Uh, uh, it's the 27th. I've been here almost two weeks. And I've yet to start this video series. So I'm going to probably try to knock out a few of them while I'm home here and then finish up the rest from the road. So, all right, I hope you guys have had a wonderful Christmas and I will talk to you soon. Be well. Bye-bye.